Bartenders of Reddit, what is the strangest conversation you've ever overheard because people assume sound doesn't travel over the bar? A customer is on the phone in the middle of the bar, not too crowded but a long bar. Guy couldn't have been more than 25. I go to help someone at the end of the bar and on my way back I overhear, no, I don't care. She's my sister, she is 13 and there is no reason she should be doing cocaine. At all. Gave him a few drinks on the house that night. Shit dude. That poor guy. There's so many situations I can imagine on the other end of that phone, yet somehow all of them are unimaginable. Geez, I recently had a freak out at my mom when she suggested I got my 14-year-old stepbrother, two-decade age gap, jewel stuff for Christmas. I couldn't imagine having the conversation with cocaine. Yeah, that is also duck though. A woman was planning her dog's birthday party, and was debating which dogs to invite since some of the dogs didn't get along with her dog. You can pick your dog and you can pick your friends, but you can't pick your dog's friends. These siblings, aged 50-60s, arguing over there, not even dead, and in fact present at the table, mother's will and who gets what. It ended in a heated argument and the sun speeding off. That's horrible. It's better than waiting until she's dead. At least then she can have some input and maybe help them come to an understanding instead of fighting the rest of their lives. You get a dollar, you get a dollar, the cat gets the rest and anyone who argues loses their inheritance. Okay, but I get the cat. You've done this before. Had someone yell rip Olivia Newton-John and I interjected that she wasn't dead. Big mistake. Drunk idiot got on one of those drunk loops about how I was wrong until we closed 20 minutes later. I even showed him on my phone that she wasn't dead and he said you can Google anything. Edit, for those speculating what my response was should have been, I just kept saying you're allowed to be wrong. As he kept on about it until I locked the door. Back when you kept a newspaper on the bar. Guy walks in and goes straight for the paper. Looks in one section then the other. Places paper down. I asked him if he found what he was looking for, and he said no. His ex isn't dead or in jail. Then he asked for a beer. I think you were living in a cold open from Cheers. Scene, Cheers Norm enters all, Norm. Norm, hey there Woody, hand me that newspaper? Norm rifles through paper and tosses it aside Woody, you find what you're looking for Mr. Peterson. Norm, not unless they misspelled Vera's name in the obituaries buddy. Cliff, you know, obituaries were first invented during the reign of Elizabeth I. Apparently since she was married to England she a wanted to know if any of her hubby's servants died. Did you know Cliff wasn't supposed to be a regular but John Ratzenberger added in the know-it-all stuff and everyone loved it? A woman at a corporate event was explaining to three male co-workers how she loves the thrill attained from coke being snorted off her ass. Sounds like someone I could get behind. Are we cocaine anal Sunday mate? I've heard discussions on if my boobs were real. Listen to a couple in an open marriage and apparently bisexual scout out the picking for the evening. Listen to tons of people telling there so that they were working late. One guy even met a date later. Listen to a couple have a very intense whispered argument about custody. I assumed a kid. Turned out to be a cat. Listen to a couple guys plan how to rob me. Bartending was fun I miss it sometimes. How did they plan to rob you, and how did you thwart it? One was going to distract the bouncer by starting a fight, and the other was going to tell me he had a gun. I waved the bouncer over and they left. I'm not sure if they were serious of it it was a hypothetical conversation. I don't miss bartending. But it really was crazy how many people failed to realize just how loud their volume was after only a couple drinks. This is why I don't like sitting at the bar but my friends usually do. I don't want the bartenders hearing all of my, mainly boring, conversations. You see, he was a hooper, not a cooper. You're still taking about the same barrel. What happens a lot while working in bars is that you overhear small snippets of conversation that sound really weird taken out of context. Stuff like, the best way to steal eggs is to pretend that they are something else, the dogs wouldn't stand a chance against Bruce Springsteen in his prime, I don't know if she can swim, but she bought sandals in the 90s. I usually entertain myself making up stories about these conversations. Edit, holy duck, this blew up. 
Went to sleep and woke up to this. Popped my gold cherry while sleeping, you sneaky bastard smile thanks tons. My favorite of those is a woman exclaiming to her boyfriend, clearly agitated, I don't know. I've never bought that much dill before. To this day I still occasionally wonder how much dill we were talking about exactly, and what unforeseen problems could be connected to it. Some people would use a time machine to go back and kill Hitler, or something similarly noble. I'd go back to that bar and ask her what the ever-living duck they were talking about. Probably a relationship thing. There was an entire argument on the radio in my city about how many towels is appropriate for a couple in a new house. Apparently four bath towels, two beach towels, and two hand towels are minimum. Tea towels are free game as apparently you can't have too many of them. On Valentine's Day this year, we had a guest who accepted a FaceTime from his girlfriend while his side chick was with him at the bar. He angled the phone so his girlfriend wouldn't see the girl, but it was so obvious. Here's your drink, and one for your date on the house. Happy Valentine's Day. Edit, thanks for the silver, I'm all out of jokes. These three middle-aged women, alone at the bar, discussing in excruciating detail their sexual fantasies, which seemed to include sucking off a younger man. I was 22 at the time. They obviously knew I could hear them but it was so awkward. I stood there cutting the hell out of lemons and limes. Were you cutting the pits off? That might have been what made them hot and bothered. Nah I think that would have pithed them off. I'll share mine real quick. Two girls sitting at the bar, otherwise the place is empty. They start discussing the details and numbers of abortions the one girl has had. Not terribly offensive to me or anything, but I certainly didn't expect to hear about it at work when I came in. Otherwise the good ones come from a game of hypotheticals called make it or break it. Essentially, you have your perfect romantic sexual partner. Everything about them is perfect, except for one flaw, and you have to decide if it's a deal breaker. My favorite one is make it or break it, she's your perfect woman, but she tells you after you've been dating for a while, that one time she ducked her dog. I think make it. What if she tells you it happened more than once? I don't know dude, probably still make it if she's perfect. What if it was your dog she fucked? Dude fuck that bitch. That's my fucking dog man. Hashtag X200B, edit, holy hell I did not expect this comment or this post to blow up the way they did. Coolio. Thanks for the gold. I wanna play this game. Can we start a sub where we can? Also be careful showing so much excitement for a hypothetical about ducking dogs with a username like that hashtag X200B, edit, I feel like I owe dogs not humans an apology. Didn't expect this post to blow up, and I definitely did not mean for this comment to turn into a roast session. My B. Arg. I want to play the game, but not the part about dog ducking. I love my dogs platonically, thanks. Yo okay bud. You're just going to have to believe me on that. Sure thing pal. You've never had the shit ducked out of you by a guy like me. I overheard a guy telling his friend that he was going to have sex with that bartender, pointing to me. He proceeded to say, she might not be there, but I am still going to have sex with her. Edit 1, holy buckets guys. Thanks for the gold. Edit 2, and no edit 3, for those of you who don't get it, he was saying Hess going to party with the Palm Sisters, close his eyes and think of me. Classy. Once this older couple, 55-ish, we're talking about their bedroom problems. The guy clearly had impotence issues, and the lady kept complaining that she was feeling frustrated because he was frustrated. And Viagra wasn't really helping, or at least not helping enough. Let's just say that other people around them weren't as comfortable as them about the conversation. I'm not sure why you would choose a restaurant as the venue for this conversation as opposed to literally anywhere else. Edit, okay, yeah, maybe your daughter's piano recital is worse. Yeah I mean why can't they just do it in the line for Disney World Space Mountain like the rest of us?